If we can bring him in alive, there's enough physical evidence for an airtight case. You heard him, Cole. He's fucking nuts. What are the chances of pulling him out of here alive? You realize this must have been the place, Rusty. It's the basis for all his riddles. Prometheus defied the cruel gods. This guy thinks he's doing the same thing. Defying gods if he has them. Well. I hate to think what he's done with this thing. I'll go. Call for backup and keep an eye out above ground and see where this thing comes out. Don't let me down, Rusty. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. You're an interesting man, Detective. Why the police? You're obviously overwhelmed. Surrender now or I will use deadly force. You're looking for personal redemption. Do you think we have something in common? This thing has come to an end. You know that. You're exactly what I expected. We were looking for a low achiever. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Are you comfortable out of the light, officer? Are you comfortable? Surrender now, or I will use deadly force. This thing has come to an end. You know that. for a low achiever.
Where's the press, Cap? I think Phelps and I should get a medal for this. This has got to be the case of the year, right? The case of the century, when you think about it. Are you finished? Yes, Skipper. Good. Because there won't be any press briefings or commendations. What are you talking about? We got the werewolf, the guy who killed the Dahlia, killed all the other broads. You got no one. Mason was a ghost. Can you at least tell us why, Captain? Mason is the half-brother of one of the most highly elected officials in this country. How high? Beyond the moon for mere mortals like us, Rusty. There'll be no more mention of him. The city owes you both. But there'll be no mileage in ever bringing this up again. What's going to happen to the suspects in the cases, Captain? I won't be a part of that. A bit of missing evidence at the grand jury. A procedural error here, a mistake there. They'll all be quietly let go. The DA knows how we got the plate. That's it? I'm afraid it is. And I have some news for you, Phelps. No more rooting around in the entrails of cadavers and corpses for you. The head of vice has asked the chief for you. I'm reluctant to see you go to the glory boys of advice, but my hands are tied. Go home to that lovely wife of yours. Celebrate your promotion. Breathe out, kid. You'll go purple. I'm scared, Sarge. Everybody's scared, kid. Anyone who says he isn't is a damn liar. How many times have you been in combat, Sarge? I was with Raider Battalion on Peleliu my first time. Was it bad? It's always bad. Will this be bad? As bad as it gets, kid. But you stick by the Marine next to you, and he will stick by you. So, some of the guys, they aren't very friendly, Sarge. They've lost a lot of their friends in the last couple of days, kid. They think if they don't get to know you, that they won't have to grieve for you if you get killed. They're wrong. It doesn't work that way. Don't worry. No Marine in this company will let you down. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole. I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. 
Let's rouse some hop heads. You can drive. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in vice cold. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing it goodbye all over Central Avenue. shithole for our first date. How about five? It's months? up the stairs, detectives. Around the corner, last door on the left. Come on, Dunn. Your show now. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed, been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine? We use the same syrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably? eaters it's all over the floor tyrone lamont not even 23 years old a small chance in life is probably better than no chance Going across the street. Another so day, another take to the bottom of the cup. One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. I say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? Fruit, a bell, and wind. 
strange doodle. for an empty cup. They've been getting their fix right over the counter in broad daylight. Street life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. Another special order from the Caesar. No cooking or preparation. Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Just what I think I've seen it all. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. The Emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. I think I've seen it all. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we going? Right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. So calm yourself. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths Hand of over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. Cop, you fucking animals.
What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. Should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. can give us something on this Jones character. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two bounce, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? We have an address on the slips. We're going to go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you got to help me some. Fleetwood, I'm going to speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Well, he's, a, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. But you're going to help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, Detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as fifty five twenty eight Santa Monica Boulevard. Thank you. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case in Hampton Road? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? When it 
I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Here we are, Jermaine Jones, 238. Hey, who let you in? looking for work what kind of act are you supposed to be <laughs> Jermaine Jones don't bother getting up your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out I wasn't planning to now you think you could tell me who the hell you are LAPD we'd like to take a look around the hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? Huh? Scott Phantom? Fine radio. Shortwave, AM and FM. My father has a Scott. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. You got it. These mugs are dope for the eyeballs.
Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein, Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. You're lying to me, Jones. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. Fleetwood Morgan will testify that you and Merlin are expanding out of illegal gambling and into drugs. Okay, so I buy from a cat goes by the name of Merlinati. Merlin runs the lottery for the Jew boy. The Fink has a new line in drugs. You squeal me out, I deny ever telling you. Tell us about Adi. Adi's a gambler. Fronts points on football games, fights, the horses, numbers. Chicken crossing the road. Motherfucker will take the odds on anything. What's the score with Ramez removals? I brought a radio from there. That's all. So when we visit Ramez removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're going to be copacetic? And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD... I could use an act like you two. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez, R A M E Z. Just checking. Ramez Removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. Thanks for your help. 